What's up guys, how's everybody doing? I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to kinda I guess restore your Euro grill. Um, I know the E30 grills, especially like the older ones, they uh, they get very dull, they're very, they just look very bad. So today we're gonna show you guys how to make them look cleaner, make them look brand new and all that and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into All right, so to do this, you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need an oil drain bucket. Um, if you don't have one of these, you could pick one up at your local auto parts. They're very inexpensive, they don't cost much. Um, we're gonna use this so we don't have to use cardboard because it's, it's kind of bad and uh, you shouldn't be using that. Um, so yeah, this would be the best thing. And then you need some primer, get some of that, and then just paint, regular black paint. And one more thing you'll need is this foamy engine degreaser. And so with these, you could get whatever you want. Like this one, there's different degreasers. Um, make sure you know you get one that doesn't mess up the surface of the grill. Um, there's some that could burn it and it'd just be really bad. Uh, yeah, and same for the paint, the primer, whatever you guys want, you guys can go choose. There's different prices, different brands, and all that stuff. And then, so what you want to do is you want to put your grill right on the, the oil bucket, and then just start spraying the grill. And then you can get your other grill to do the same exact thing for this one. And so now once you're done with both sides of both grills, then what you want to do is just let it sit for a few minutes. Just let it soak in. All right, so what you want to do now after you let them sit for like two, three minutes is you want to rinse, them, rinse the degreaser off. All right, and then if you have some, you know, dirt, some leaves, just other little stuff in between everything, uh, if you have a compressor, you can get one of these. Blow it all out. If you don't, you could use a brush, anything just to get inside. Make sure to get all those little things. So if there's still dirt left, you could just get a napkin, get a rag, and just you know, swipe across, make sure there's nothing there, no dirt, nothing at all. As you're doing that, you could let let it dry after you're done rinsing it. So what we're gonna wanna do is with your tape, you're gonna wanna cover this part right here. Just that top part, just cause you don't wanna paint that. Um, what you wanna get is just the plastic. You don't wanna get any of this. So you put tape over that and then we'll go from there. So we were having trouble putting the tape there. It wasn't really sticking. Uh, so one thing you could do if that's happening to you um, is you can just staple it. If you just staple it down, you'll be fine. Just put a couple staples on there and it'll be good. You just gotta get creative. All right, so now that they have dried up and you cleaned them up, took all the dirt off, all leaves, whatever was on there. Uh, we're gonna put them right here under these plastic bags. Just like get a garbage bag, one of these big ones right here, and then we'll put the primer on. You want to make sure to do it lightly and just spray exactly how we're spraying, just to make it make it look perfect, make it look good. All right, so when you do it on one side, you wanna, once you're done doing it on one side, you wanna go onto the other side just to get in between everything, make sure you get everything. Um, and then just, yeah, continue doing the same thing that we were doing on the other side. All right, so now we are done priming. Your 
here's how it looks. Here's how it's supposed to look. And so now that you're done priming, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna leave it. Uh, let it sit for about, I'd say an hour. We'll come back and check on it in an hour, see how it is. If it's good, we'll keep painting. If not, then we'll give it some more time, but it should be about an hour. All right, so it's been about an hour and it looks like they're all ready to be painted. So now what we're gonna do next is paint them. And so when you're painting it, you wanna do pretty much the same thing that I said to do for the primer. All right, so it looks like we're done painting them now. Um, also, make sure that you're holding it from a distance. You don't want to be, you know, be spraying it way too close. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now we're just going to let this sit for about an hour or two, 30 minutes to an hour, and then come back and check on it. All right, guys. So I came back yesterday um, after an hour, and it, they were not dry at all. They, like, not at all. So I would suggest leaving it for way more. I left it overnight, and still it feels like a little sticky. I don't really want to get my fingerprints on it. So yeah, I would suggest leaving it overnight. I don't know if the weather has anything to do with that. Uh, maybe when it's warmer, it dries up quicker. I'm not sure. So now I'm here, and it looks like they're dried up now, but I still need to let them sit for a little more. But yeah, now I'm gonna just show you guys what the final thing looks like. So here it is, guys. Just the final, the final thing. They look really nice. I'm really happy with how they came out. Uh, the paint I used was like a, a semi-gloss um, paint and I think it looks clean. So if you guys wanna use that, it would, it would look exactly like this. Make sure to use some good paint when you do this too. You don't wanna get some some bad quality paint because then it, yeah, I mean, it's just not gonna look good. So there it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it was a little short one, a little how-to one. I bought these grills and, you know, they came in and they were kind of messed up. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna restore them and might as well show everybody else how I did it. So yeah, I bought these. I was like, you know what, these don't look that good. So I'm gonna just restore them and show the people how I did it. Um, hope you guys like it. Hope it helps some of you guys out. If you try this and you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help as much as I can. And also, what I was gonna say is, I didn't do the kidney grill, but it's the same exact thing. You do the same exact thing, the same exact procedure. I'm probably gonna do that later. I totally forgot to do it. And I mean, these are all done now, so I kinda messed up. But um, yeah, it'll be the same thing if you wanna do your kidney grill too, so they all match up perfectly. And yeah, that was it. I hope you guys liked the video again. Uh, follow, subscribe, like, do all that stuff. Catch me on the Instagram. There's gonna be a lot more content this year, 2020. Everybody, happy new year. Hope everybody had the good holidays, spent time with their family, with their friends. Um, yeah, peace out, guys. I'll see you guys later.